Rainer Wright's here with Curtis Dickinson, who will give us an overview of one of our latest products. Curtis, can you tell us a little bit about the new OmniScan X3 phased array flaw detector? Yes, the OmniScan X3 is our latest in portable advanced flaw detectors that includes ultrasonic testing, time of flight diffraction, phased array, uh, and now FMC TFM inspection. Uh, it comes in three f configurations, 1664, 16128, and 32128, all of which are PR capable and include some of the various specifications that you can see here. Thanks, Curtis. That's interesting. How does FMC TFM process work? FMC and TFM are an ultrasonic imaging process that uses a phase array transducer. It involves taking one element from the transducer and pulsing it while simultaneously listening on all of the other elements of the transducer. We repeat this firing and receiving sequence until all of the elements in the transducer are pulsed and then we collect that data and generate an image using TFM. Rather than explaining in great detail, what we'll do is we'll play a short video and then we'll continue from there. Full Matrix Capture, or FMC, is an acquisition strategy used to acquire all the waveform possible for a given phased array probe. The fundamental difference with phased array resides in the firing sequence of the individual elements of the probe. Here is a hypothetical example of a six-element probe. Every element is fired separately. Then, all elements of the array will be receiving at the same time, generating a matrix of elementary A scans for this given probe. As opposed to phased array, there is no beam forming created by delays in acquisition. The responses from all the received signals, elementary A scans, are then collected. This is where full matrix capture originates from. This pattern gets repeated for all the elements in the probe. Now that the full matrix is collected, let's explain the total focusing method, TFM process. Samples from elementary A scans are selected from the matrix against the expected delay from a specific TFM waveset and the focal point location in the material. Here, the waveset selected is LL. The highest amplitude is represented by the red color. The selected A-scan samples are then summed to generate a single pixel in the TFM grid. The specified focal point determines the pixel location. The process is then repeated for every pixel on the TFM grid. The multiple wave sets options allow visualizing different kind of indications. The resulting set of pixels creates the TFM image. How can TFM be applied as an inspection technique? Through the onboard setup wizard that is on the instrument, you can select different wave sets to accomplish different inspections. For example, you can perform a contact inspection with longitudinal wave. You can perform an angle beam inspection with shear wave modes, as well as perform various inspections with mixed mode functionality. The idea is that you select the proper wave set or TFM mode 
to detect the ideal indication that you're looking for. What benefits can TFM offer over standard phased array? TFM excels in providing cleaner, sharper images, as well as better geometric positioning for your indications. But one improvement that TFM can make is in flaw sizing as compared to PA. In the example on the left, we have sized an indication with TFM to a height of 141, uh, which is a shorter measurement than what you see on the right in the phase rate image at a height of 199. And this difference comes in TFM's ability to always use the full aperture of the transducer, whereas in phase ray, we are typically limited to only a partial aperture of that same transducer. So this gives a little bit more flexibility in a technician's ability to size indications accurately. Thanks, Brandon.